Hello, Vintage Stereo Buff. Today I'd like to show you this early 1950s Electro Voice Corner Horn speaker designed by Paul Klipsch for Electro Voice. I bought this from a junk dealer about 30 some years ago. He's on the back of his truck and uh, paid him $10 for it. Pretty nice looking speaker. See, this fits in the corner and in the back. You can see how that's shaped down there through the port in the back. And this is the speaker. It's not really a woofer per se. Back then, they didn't have air suspension woofers with loose cones. Everything was kind of tight. This is a Wolverine. It's actually a full range speaker. And uh, on some of these things, he didn't even use the tweeter. These speakers were available assembled or in a kit form. And you did it yourself at home. And you also could buy the, just a box by itself. And then buy the individual components one at a time as you had the money to do it. It's got a nice little grill on the front, metal things, I wish I could find some more, but and I couldn't, and this speaker here got damaged, so I replaced it, and this tweeter is a TW35 Electro Voice horn, that's what one of the th tweeters that was available in it, this particular, uh, uh, the Klipsch Heritage line used these for several years, uh, while well, Paul Clips was designing this cabinet and several others for Electro Voice, he was also using their components in his Heritage Line speakers. This is the crossover from inside here, or one like it. There's one in there. But anyway, I had this for, I got it about 32 years ago, and over several years I experimented a little, took out the speakers and put different ones in there, because this was dangerous. We didn't have YouTube back then. Here you can see the back here. Again, I'll show you the back, how the back part looks. But I decided, I took it apart, and I decided that when they had assembled it, they didn't glue it. And knowing that, I took apart the speaker to go out into my shop and make patterns. So I made two more. I made these about 20 years ago, 20, about 25 years ago. I made them to exactly, exactly like the other one. The only difference is the front molding is slightly different profile, but the rest of it, everything, all the panels are exactly the same. And I couldn't get the right grill cloth. For it. This is some black looking stuff that doesn't look right on it. And it's some kind of odd wood. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's some type of mahogany actually. What mahogany plywood I got from a regular lumber yard. Now these uh, have different tweeters in them and they have a different speaker but this is an electro voice model and this model also was available for this unit. The horn tweeters are actually university sound tweeters. These are a T, I think a T30 horn is what they're called. These were made by University Sound and then I have another one in here, only it's black. And it says Altec Lansing Ling on it. Which means it was during a time when Jimmy Ling owned both Altec and University Sound. And here, I'll get a better look at the, the little shelf that forms part of the corner horn. It's not really complex. It was not that tricky to build it. I built harder things. But as you can see, I glued mine together when I put them back together. So now, all three of the speakers are glued together. I can't get them back apart and then I discovered that 
somewhere along the line. I threw away the patterns, so I can't build any more. Anyway, uh, what do you think of these speakers? Let's see some comments.